a while ago, and it was a while ago that I made the video where I built an ATTE microfighter and also a Varactyl microfighter. I asked for your comments in what vehicles I should build to oppose my two builds. And there were a few comments on the video. The big builds that were recommended was Grievous Speeder Bike, the wheel bike that he rides on Utapau in Revenge of the Sith. Very fitting for the other two designs. And also an MTT, which is basically the biggest droid carrier you can get. And it's not far off the ATTE Walker. I suppose a better fit might have been one of those clone turbo tanks, but perhaps that's a future video in the making. So I've built an MTT Microfighter and Grievous's Wheel Bike Microfighter. There will be polls in the community who you think would be the last standing out of these four builds. You can vote on that now if you are on a computer or just wait to the end of the video. But I think we'll take a look first at Grievous's Wheel Bike. And this is by far the most fragile of the builds. But before we get to the actual build, Let's take a look at a little bit of the design process because it started out with, well, trying to figure out how we're going to use some square Lego elements to get a rounded shape. And these plates just weren't cutting it. So I tried to merge them with these one by two rounded elements, decided just to go straight out with one by two rounded elements. If you want to make something a bit more secure, I definitely recommend combining the two but it just wasn't round enough for the sake of Grievous's wheel bike. And that's on top of trying to get all the little spikes on the edge of this circle, which again is hard enough to create, let alone trying to add some of these elements on top. So it seemed to be I would use some of these bar stud pieces, which did make the most sense until I finally decided to go with some one by one cheese slopes all around the end. And again, I think it did work out pretty cool. This is built very technically. Everything does pop off of its own sections. It's not held on too securely. So for a Lego set, this might not do, but I think for a custom built microfighter, it can be played with. It's not gonna fall apart with just a tap. If you were to put some real pressure, you could definitely squash this down into basically a pancake, really. And how I've managed to get Grievous on is a really cool technique because this is the chair that Grievous is somewhat held in. And you could roll this around. Grievous does stay down on this chair. You've got the electro staff on the back, which we'll take a look at in a second when we have our Varectal build. But it's quite a simplistic build for the chair. You're probably wondering how I managed to get Grievous, who doesn't have mini figure legs down on the chair. And that is exactly what this bar is meant to do because you can put Grievous's legs either side of that bar and he still does move around. There's a lot of movement. So to stop him wiggling in his place, we just add one of these they're handlebars, one of these handlebar elements for the bikes. I keep forgetting the name of some of these Lego elements, but that stops Grievous from wiggling around. His arms stop him sliding forward because there is still quite a big gap between his legs. And this just clips on the side of the bike. It's only held on by one stud to make it easy to clip on and off. And the arm fits just in that gap. It just Fits perfectly. Honestly, if this didn't work, I have no idea what I was going to do. The Electra staff on the back for Grievous to reach back and grab. We've got all these spikes going around the wheel. And even on the other side of the wheel, we've got the turret that Grievous does use to fire. I think he clears his path from some rocks or something. And that's held in with some clips that wouldn't be possible if we weren't using these one by twos. You can really clip anything into these studs. I think when I showed off my Vractal Microfighter build, I had a 212 clone trooper in it rather than Kenobi. So we've now got Kenobi. It's not a screen accurate Kenobi because the only Kenobi I have from Revenge of the Sith is the one with the burnt Mustafar robes. And even if I got Grievous's latest Starfighter, it would be the exact same Kenobi. So I'm hoping for an update to the minifigure next year, but for now, this is the duo, and I think this would make an amazing microfighter battle pack for LEGO to sell for Revenge of the Sith's anniversary. But that's not all we're looking at in this video, because now we can take a look at the MTT microfighter. I think I got the shape of this pretty well 
even if I do say so myself. We've got the slopes at the back, the little sides, which I think are holding the whole thing up. We've even got, you can see the hinges at the front, the little bit where the droids come in and out, and you never know, there might be something hidden inside. But first off, we do have our droid pilot who is driving the ship. The legs do slot in just at the back here, which allows us to fit a droid. I was really hoping we'd fit them in a two by two gap, but they actually need two by three studs. But something you'll notice about the Clone Walker ATTE isn't only that it's not far off the size to the MTT. There's roughly the similar amount of pieces used for each of these microfighters. I tried to keep it somewhat fair. And if you haven't seen the ATTE, my favorite feature is this carry handle I have put in the middle. But there's two clone troopers on it. We've got the clone at the front and the clone at the back. So you know I had to do the same with the MTT. And the reason the front is so big is because you can open it up on the hinges. That's right. The hinges don't open the front bit. They're actually holding on this entire top piece and you've got a second battle droid inside. I know for a Lego build, this isn't too good considering you'd have to build the set yourself, but perhaps if you were showing this off to a few friends or other Lego fans, I think this would be a really cool feature to have in your microfighter or in any build, just a hidden compartment for droids or anything else. And you know I loved it when the Pirate Snub Fighter had those hidden compartments. It seems the only weakness of this build is the pilot or whichever droid you sit in the back does tend to lean backwards if it's tilted back. But when it's on your desk, that isn't a problem and it can just ride off into the distance ready to attack the ATT. -E. So as far as combinations go, perhaps we need a pole what would be the better pack? But I think I know you're all going to vote for the one that comes with two clone troopers and two battle droids. Well, I guess if you already have a Grievous and Kenobi in your collection, because I know at least Dirk's going to vote for the set with Grievous. But like I said, there will be a poll over in the community tab. So you can vote for your favorite, I guess, but really the one you think would come out on top in battle. I will leave two separate polls, one for the MTT with the secret droid compartment and the double droids versus the ATTE with the two clones on top and much more firepower. And then a second poll for Grievous Wheelbike versus Kenobi's Varactyl. So let me know who you think out of these four will be successful and I'd also love to hear which microfighters you'd like to see next year. And it's gonna be a hard one if they wanna top Captain Rex this year. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Check out some more on screen now, and may the bricks be with you always.